For those who don't know, Jankum is a purported inhalant and hallucinogen created from fermented human waste. In the mid-1990s, it was reported to be a popular street drug among Zambian youth. They would reportedly put the feces and urine in a jar or a bucket and seal it with a balloon or lid respectively, then leave it out to ferment in the sun. Afterwards, they would inhale the fumes created. In November of 2007, there was a moral panic in the United States after widespread reports of Jankum becoming a popular recreational drug in middle and high schools across the country, though the true extent of the practice has since been called into question. Several sources reported that the increase in American media coverage was based on a hoax and on faulty internet research. So without further ado, let's read these shitty reports. So, I decided to give Jankum a try. I've been fermenting a bottle of stool for three weeks now, and today, I took my first hit. Well, it tasted like shit, what else could I say? Then, what happened goes as follows. 30 seconds in, feeling a slight buzz, akin to a small amount of marijuana or alcohol. Not much, just a little off. Left me with a crappy taste in my mouth, pardon the pun, and I was quite disappointed with the results. One minute in, the stuff is kicking in big time. Majorly messed up, it almost feels like a drunken stupor, but not. I just feel utterly sick, but do not care at all. I don't know if it's a good or bad feeling, just kind of is. I decide to take a second huge hit off the bottle of Jankum. Four minutes in, Perceptions are all distorted and off, but oddly enough, I am not dizzy anymore, and the experience feels a bit hallucinogenic. The walls seem to be moving and waving, and I keep hearing things. I am hearing things a lot off of the Jankum. 10 minutes in. Never felt so inebriated in years. Everything is swaying, and I keep hearing stuff. Also, everything just feels all slowed down, and my speech is very, very slurred. One hour in. Not coming down at all. Still very high. Four hours in. Still buzzed, but coming down. The crappy taste is noticeable again. All in all, Jankum does more than I expected. However, the taste of sewage lingers for a couple of weeks after the use of this. It's also very non-discreet, as in order to use Jankum. There were bottles of crap, with balloons at the top, all over my house for a couple of weeks, prior to my use, of this stuff. Dosed in vitro anally, plugging a hypodermic needle, 34.316 grams of fire Jankum and 550 micrograms of the strongest original Orange Sunshine LSD so that my trip would be short, but relatively strong. Of course, all soaked in test kit liquid for full purification. Four seconds in, having some come up anxiety. 5.5 seconds in, don't feel anything, probably bunk shit. Fucking badger, goddammit. 11 seconds in, wait, there's a body high. 12 pontificated Eurasian magistrates with micrometers of Justix and the particles of freedom dolefully repeat the heretical misgivings of their forefathers, romping around like generally fostered bitches on a hot summer's day. Never would the rhetorical and recipes be subjugated to such a surmounted restorative Columbuses, erected in a fashion that would only rebuke one's never-lasting and undone condoms of tortured Remesian flaglings upon which only a notion could rest and a fart of credible duelies could be reported. Failings of the gilded guard of the third left will not submit their penises to be refuted only to the nth degree. With only the unseated fantasy remained a stretch, a strong custard arrives, and all is frenzied as if only stupefied. The very soup arrives at a protected boundary. With only the inferior craft cautioning the suspected, 
initiated the Redeemer is surmised, and the recipient becomes the foregoer. Completing the circle, the bastions of limousines hoist their jareds, redefining the augmented honeybee council, previously only seen in the most vicious of frames. 14.75 seconds in, came down to baseline, can't even move. How do I tell the sheeple this true nature reality I have learned from this epiphany? I guess I am God, and that is all there is to it. Hey folks, I wanted to share my Jankum trip here since r slash drugs banned me when I did so. Me and my neighbor's son been collaborating into a huge stash of Jankum. For those who don't know, it's hella easy to fabricate it at home. My neighbor's son isn't that good at fabricating the materials, so when he gets the opportunity, he collects from his other family members, so do I. We met up in my house and put on a Jimi Hendrix playlist with some Disney movies going on. After inhaling the first three hits of our Jankum, I thought I wouldn't make it. I could puke, I could vomit so bad, I could have a seizure from the taste and smell the stuff has, but then I was enlightened. I didn't puke, I came. I exploded jizz in my pants and it blew away in the astral dimension while I can see my friend having a convulsion after his fifth hit, but I was so baked I couldn't help him. He said Adolf Hitler was smoking a bong full of mushrooms and that we needed to stop him from discovering that Jankum is the key of time travel. I wrote five songs and will ingress in my music career now. I am so goddamn good. I feel more intelligent and I feel like I connected to a bigger consciousness that relies on Africa and Europe mostly and I could see through their eyes whenever I hit the Jankum again. Also, Family Guy never has been so funny than on Jankum. That shit gets insane. My neighbor isn't so good though. He says he fucked up his brain and that tomorrow we could try hitting the Jankum again to fix his mind. When we were hitting the Jankum, the dude said some bullshit about Popeye using steroids and Barack Obama being an alien. He said this world isn't fucking real and that God is actually a blind creature away from the light and all this dimension exists only in his mind. He blew up with blood in his nose and started speaking in some kind of alien voice that we were all doomed to be trapped here forever unless we open our third eye. When he told me that, I saw the level of enlightenment we got and I jumped out of my window trying to get a reality check. I think this world is real because I broke my back, but now I know Reddit is real and this is good. Peace. Well, 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 you finally got a Jankum video. Are you happy now? Do you feel satisfied? Can you tell your parents that you are successful in life now and you can finally move on and move out of their house? Jankum is a mystery and we all love mysteries. That's why I did this video. Of course, these stories are probably not true, as you could tell by the way they were written, but they were still very interesting reads and I hope you all enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe for more Jankum content Actually, I'm probably not going to do another video on it, so I'm sorry. Unless there's more Jankum trip reports that come out. If you have one and you tried it, please submit it to my Reddit at reddit.com slash r slash trip reports tftt. You know damn well I'm going to read it. Again, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below what you thought of this video and what I should do next. What have we learned here today exactly? Nothing. You've simply learned nothing. With that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful night, or day, or afternoon, or morning, or whatever. Uh, have a good one, and stay safe out there, trip seekers.
You have been watching Tales from the Trip.